to vote and decide themselves. Je suis pour un printemps européen, mais après, est-ce qu'on est dedans My name is Ska Keller. I'm from East Germany. I'm 32 years old and I'm a member of the European Parliament since 2009. This is my first term. I got involved into politics back when I was 13, more or less. I was um, engaged into animal welfare. When I met Greensland, it immediately felt like the right things because they were actually concerned about the same issues than I was and they were finding the same answers that I was and they were And that's what I still really love about the Greens is that we're combining different issues. Like we're combining um, environmental things with economy. We're talking also about economy and feminism, etc. So it's really a matter of like seeing the whole picture. So and now um, I'm a member of the European Parliament for the Greens and I'm running as the top candidate of the Greens for the European elections. So of course the idea is then that our top candidates become ahead of the commission. But of course we all know that for the Greens that's not very realistic. If I would be the head of the commission, I really want to put uh, social issues on the top of the agenda. I want to um, put something like youth unemployment. Youth unemployment is up to 60% in Spain and Greece. Two out of three young job seekers can't find work. Imagine what that means for a society, for a generation. Imagine what that also means for labor rights when all of your peers are unemployed. We have to wake up, dear friends. We want our future back. We cannot allow, to allow a whole generation to get lost. This is not just a problem of individuals who might have to work harder or something in order to find a job. No, this is a problem really of society and it also is a democratic problem if a whole generation is without hope and any perspective for the future. But also apart from the youth unemployment, I think that the European Union has been focusing too long on simply issues like the single market, etc. Things that are very important, but they're also far away from the people. I mean, what matters to people is their income, um, health care, education, uh, their social rights, etc., their pensions. So and the European Union, I think, should have a like should do more on social issues in order to really influence positively people's lives. But of course, I mean, for Greens, it will always be a priority to have also environment included into this. So we're thinking of having a Green New Deal, which will create a lot of jobs in the environmental sector, but also in the in health and education, etc., while transforming our economy into an ecological, climate-friendly way. As the EU institutions, I mean, they're always seen as far away, but I think that's also very much an issue of how they how we're being presented both as parliament but also in as the commission or whatever um i mean we're in the parliament for instance deciding about things that really touch upon people's lives but we have to be much better in communicating for instance i'm using a lot of social media tools in order to reach people directly because it's true the european union affairs don't play a big role in, in traditional media and press. We have to use and build up our own media to create a public sphere in the European Union. I think the EU can do a lot for uh, its youngest citizens. Look at the European Commission. Instead of doing their job and pressuring member states to finally implement the youth guarantee, the Commission goes around saying that the young people should try harder, learn more, get their act together. That is just shameless. And I think this is also a way, like involving young people more, and this, of course not only young people but everybody, how we can overcome the institutional crisis that we also have in the European Union. We need to be more open for people's views, for people's ideas and be more democratic, have more instruments of direct democracy in order so that we can also understand what people expect from the European Union, what they want the European Union to deliver and to like go in like do that then in the end and about um the economic crisis that we're currently in as i already said we proposed a green new deal which will create new jobs while also getting us out of the environmental crisis that is absolutely there the climate change the oil peak etc we have to shift towards renewable energy and having a more a focus on life quality um, rather than always uh, growth and GDP, etc. Jobs of good quality, not exploitation. Dear friends, we Greens want jobs that are sustainable for the people and for the planet. People are thrown out of their houses in Spain. That people are deprived of medical care in Greece. That EU citizens live in tents in winter like some have to do in Sweden. The next elections will be a vote on whether we allow this destruction of all of our future to go ahead. 
It's a vote on whether we want to be climate cowards or climate heroes. A vote for the Greens is a vote for climate justice, for a sound environment, for green jobs, and for fair energy. We can do it. We have to do it. Because we are Europe. Europe is what we make of it. If not us, then who? Dear friends, let's go out and fight. Let's change Europe.